work some more on the stone here. Maya and Ava are watching. So I'm very happy with how this has turned out. This, um, I don't know what you'd call it, railing, stone decor accent area. All different types of stone here. We have granites, we have quartzites, all different colors. Some really wild. Hard to believe Mother Nature can do that. And some need to be washed off, but they'll get sprinkled today, but that's it. So looks really cool. Really like it. Quite sturdy. The first few are got dirt against them. And then the others are sitting on top of the dirt, but it's it's pretty solid. I'm not saying someone couldn't push it over, but put a slight lean to them. I didn't want to put a lot of lean to them, but you can see I leaned them some. And some I actually ended up putting smaller pieces inside. I mean, kind of wedged them in. Like, for example, right here, you could wedge one in. So there's room to put a couple more, but it's really, it's good the way it is. You know, possibly if I had one to put in there. For the most part, I tried to keep natural edges. So I did some breaking, which is kind of a challenge because the one like this, as soon as I hit it, it started to want to fracture here, which, you know, it's, I'm still keeping it in there. It's totally fine. But had I tried to pound it more, it would have broke right off. There's mesh on the back, so it holds it in place anyways. Others break apart. A little bit more predictable but um anything with veins in it, it's no guarantee it's gonna it could break you could be hitting here to take this little chunk off and fracture right through the center so that's you need if you try this be aware of that i did where i did leave straight edges i tapped them with a hammer but that doesn't really probably unnecessary got some really cool onyx here so they're all natural and then also did more on the steps so it's coming out pretty good I mean this this parts all good got the um, the no mesh backs facing up so that way they're not slippery when they're gonna be covered it is okay to put the polish up because once I cover this you're not gonna see that Tried to keep the natural edge out. So the trick will be I need to get one for right here. So ideally I'll probably get something that is you can break or you can pound something like the Caledonia, Ubatuba, some a lot of those types of granites, giallo ornamental, you can tap them with a hammer in a straight line and they'll break pretty close to there so you kind of take your time go back and forth tapping a little bit harder a little bit harder you can get them to break so in that key, so if i get a big enough one hopefully i can sculpture it down to fit right in there and then i'm going to need a couple toppers to finish it off and then here's the other side and this side we went straight against the railing and then down and we got some really nice ones in here too. Um, I don't even know the names of all of them. Right here's a Caledonia, I'm sure of that. Here's a Typhoon Bordeaux. Here's the Onyx Quartzite. Not sure about this one, it might be a marble. And then here's a Dolomite. I think this is the Panda. Got the dark going through it other colors kind of a bluish then we have some oh, Normandy I think and this looks like some magma that's kind of dirty yeah. really cool I'm not sure about that one and I think that one has two different names I can't remember right now one has brown in it and the other one has I think blue, I think there's blue in there too. Okay, anyways. Really cool stone. Got 
got this green one over here. I think that's Hawaiian green. They're looking really nice. I like it a lot. It still gives us enough space for our steps. And when I paint that, I'll just slide them out a little bit so I can paint behind them. The other ones, I'm not going to move them. They're not going to be painting there. And then, for pieces I could not use, I started the base for our granite bench over here. Table, I should say. So we brought in some dirt from down behind the wood shop, cleaned that trench out good, built it up, and we're starting a table area here. This will be very handy for when I have to work on my chainsaw or to set lawn items on. A lot of times I would set them here, but it's not a very big area, so this will be a really nice area. I will um, think what I'll do is bring out some... I'll put some other stuff around here. Probably some um, ashes from the wood stove to kind of solidify that a little bit better. It's not super level right now, but when I get that weight on there, that's all going to level out. So hopefully it doesn't tilt one way or the other, but I, th I think we're going to be good. And then last of all, I'm on the lookout for pieces that will be nice for a step here. So it's, it's a good distance there. If we can make a step, maybe about four layers of granite which will get us an inch and a quarter for each layer, so that will give us four or five inches if we do four. So that will be a pretty good step, maybe one more layer. So I'll try to keep an eye out for pieces for there as I'm building this. And then the other thing as I'm separating through the granite, I'm setting aside some really unique ones. Because here you don't see them. I mean, we're going to be hiding a lot of really nice stone. You're just not going to see it. The only thing you're going to see is this edge. On the first layer, I wasn't very concerned. But after going up from there, I'm going to try to keep the natural edge out. And fill it in between like I did the other tables. But at the same time, when I'm going through the big, my granite supply, I am pulling out nice ones that are unique pretty good size like two by two or um, one by one well a little bit bigger than that 16 by two in that range for a future floor in the um, what I'm going to be calling the shop area for like auto repair and other things like that or just working on furniture so an area that's bigger it'll be down to Zero State it's a nice size garage. It was actually my my first wood shop when we lived down there in the apartment. So I'm holding out the nice stone for that. I'm still using some nice ones for this, but um, it's just kind of a shame you can't see them all. But it's going to be beautiful. So that's where we're at. I'm in the wood shop now. And we're doing some woodworking. I'll go over that after we get a little bit further. But... I'm basically building something for a foosball table. It should turn out nice. Okay, so there we go.